Just a few decades ago, the universe seemed a much smaller place, at least in terms of what we knew about it. The planets orbiting our sun comprised the entirety of known worlds. The possibility of planets circling distant stars remained just that, a possibility intriguing yet unconfirmed. The discovery of the first exoplanets in 1992 marked a monumental shift in our understanding of the universe. These planets, found orbiting a pulsar rather than a star like our sun, opened the floodgates to a new field of astronomical research. Since then, nearly 10,000 exoplanets have been identified, each one broadening our perspective on the cosmos. Initially, each newly discovered exoplanet was a wonder, unique and precious. We marveled at their diverse characteristics, from Earth-like planets capable of hosting life to those with seething surfaces of molten magma. During these early days, the focus was on the individual traits of these distant worlds, each discovery expanding our understanding and excitement about the potential diversity of planetary systems. However, as the number of discoveries grew into the thousands, astronomers' approach evolved. The emphasis shifted from cataloging individual peculiarities to analyzing these planets as part of a broader population. This shift allowed scientists to start identifying patterns and categories among the vast array of exoplanets. Among the fascinating patterns to emerge was the classification of most exoplanets into two main categories based on their size. There are the rocky planets not much bigger than Earth, often referred to as super-Earths. Then there are the slightly larger mini-Neptune's gas planets that are typically between two to three times the size of Earth. Interestingly, there's a curious absence of planets in the size range between these two categories, known as the radius gap. This gap in the sizes of discovered exoplanets puzzles astronomers because it suggests a missing piece in our understanding of planetary formation and evolution. Theories abound as to why this radius gap exists. Some suggest it could be due to the processes that either strip away atmospheres or prevent them from forming at certain sizes. For instance, planets that are just the right size might retain their gaseous envelopes, becoming mini-Neptunes while slightly smaller ones can't hold on to their atmospheres, becoming rocky super-Earths instead. This radius gap might tell us about the environments around different stars or the materials from which these planets formed. Perhaps the presence or absence of certain elements and compounds plays a role. Or maybe it's the intensity of radiation from the host star that dictates whether a planet can hold on to its atmosphere. As our technology and methodologies advance, so too does our ability to peer deeper into space and time. Missions like the retired Kepler telescope and its successors continue to provide invaluable data that scientists use to explore these mysteries. Each discovery feeds into a larger narrative that gradually unveils the nature of our universe. The study of exoplanets is not just about finding new worlds, it's about understanding the diversity and complexity of the universe. It challenges our notions of what planets can be and provides a clearer picture of our place within the cosmos. As we move forward, the mystery of the radius gap and many others continue to spur scientific inquiry, driving us to look beyond our solar system and indeed beyond our imagination. So, as we continue this celestial journey, let's appreciate every discovery as a piece of the vast intricate puzzle that is our universe. Each finding, each anomaly, each gap tells us a story about where we've been, where we are, and the endless possibilities of where we might go.